Big story live at 10, the minimum wage battle being fought across the country. And tonight, a petition goes before the Appleton Common Council to raise the rate to 10.10 an hour. NBC 26's Alex Hagan is live at 10 to show us Appleton isn't the only community involved in the effort. Stacy, this seems to be a statewide effort. And in our area, there's a push in both Green Bay and Appleton, but it isn't getting full support from everyone. For an issue like minimum wage, let the people have their say. Helping them, we help our city. Says Green Bay Alderman Randy Scannell. Get more money into more people's pockets. He wants voters to decide on whether to raise the minimum wage from 725 to 1010. Put some pressure on uh, the people in Madison to hopefully uh, pay attention that this is an important issue and this is what people want. 30 miles south. We need to raise the minimum wage. And Minster of Appleton is part of a petition that gathered more than 4,000 signatures to put an advisory referendum on the November ballot. When you poll people on whether or not they favor raising the minimum wage, there's overwhelming support. A recent survey shows 76% of voters support raising the minimum wage. However, Windows of Light Angels Forever owner Nathan Weinberg is not one of them. Because the minimum wage is going up, the costs will go up. And it'll, it'll be an inflationary factor. Only our state leaders can make the change. Give voters a chance to weigh in. But it seems many people will head to the polls this November to voice their opinions on raising the wage. Now in Green Bay, the issue will go before the Finance Committee next month ahead of the City Council. As for Appleton, City Council voted in favor of the referendum 11 to 1 tonight. Alex Hagan, NBC 26. Similar petitions were submitted in Nina and Menasha late last month. Referendums have already been approved in Madison and Milwaukee. The Wapaka County